So what is prolotherapy? Injection of an irritant solution into the joint where the ligaments and tendons attach to bones. Um, I had a woman come in today, and I said, where's the pain? She said, well, it's all over. And I said, give me the top few spots. One was her left low back, but she had severe scoliosis, and it actually pulled out her ribs. So her ribs were experienced what we call chondro, or costochondritis, which just means inflammation between the ribs. So I actually injected on the ribs so the solution would get down between the ribs where the muscle attaches to the cartilage that attaches to the bones. And that's a very effective way of, of healing that. Prolotherapy is something that I do quite a bit of. How does it reduce inflammation, eliminate pain? It does it by inflaming the areas of the body that have pain. It's backwards thinking. The body, when it's in pain, has a high level of inflammation. That's what's causing the pain. The body is trying to heal itself. That's what the inflammation's for. It doesn't kick up high enough to start the growth of collagen and cartilage. So what we do with prolotherapy, we inject into the area of pain around the joints, tendons, ligaments, actually anywhere from head to foot. You mentioned plantar fasciitis. We, look, we use it for that. And it'll create a short inflammatory cycle, like a little mini injury. Might be stiff for a few hours or 24 hours. And then on day three after an injection, if we look under a microscope, no joint space after prolotherapy, a nice cartilage growth and a bigger joint space. This is not a new idea. I didn't make it up. It's been around since the beginning of time in very crude forms. Hippocrates was known to use hot irons he put in a bonfire for the Olympian athletes. If they had dislocated shoulders, he would actually scald the axilla, the armpit, so that they, they no longer dislocated, decreasing the range of motion. In China, 5,000 years ago, they took acupuncture needles, heated them up, put them in the low back, and scarred the ligaments to reconnect the uh, pelvis to the spine in a way that it was stabilized. Today it's very refined, very thin needle. It is often repeated. It's often necessary to do a series of injections. We do have a percentage of people, maybe 20%, they come in one time and it's healed. But the vast majority, it's a series. Different parts of the body heal at different rates. Wrists, usually one or two treatments. Um, usually when I inject my wrist after I injure it, which I do frequently, I'm better the next day. Neck and back, it usually take me four treatments or so. Ankles are fast, knees are fairly fast, two to four treatments. Necks and backs take a while. So collagen. The inflammatory response with collagen production during the healing of an injury is this. And this is in my book that I wanted to tell you about. So this is time across the right, and this is the amount of inflammation. Now if you have pain in your body, your inflammation is, let's say, at a level up to here. It doesn't get up here. It's here and below. That's not enough to create collagen or cartilage growth. And if you see here at day three, if you get a good inflammatory reaction, which we get with prolotherapy, on day three, when we look at tissue under a microscope, and my book has pictures of actual tissue growth, you'll see collagen starting to form at day three. It continues to grow and mature up to about 100 days, three and a half months or so. This is a tendon on the left of a rabbit. Before prolotherapy, poor rabbit. After prolotherapy, it's about twice as thick. And the um, mechanism of breaking that tendon is about two to 400% stronger. So it's very difficult. It's very strong. It holds structures to together much better. This is one of my old buddies, David Sloan. This is an unusual case. He had three surgeries on his toe. Football player, always jamming his toe. And the surgeries made it worse. He flew up from Tucson, Arizona, where he lived, came up a few times, maybe four or five, six times, and nothing happened. And I was very distraught, and he was very distraught. He had to play one more season to get his pension. He said, Doc, I just need to get through the season. He called me up three months later and said, I don't know what happened, but the pain is gone. Now, that's a case of true tissue growth. It takes that long sometimes. Well, at day three, as you saw from the diagram, some of the tissue starts to grow. The cells show up. The collagen cells, called fibroblasts, appear in the area. They produce collagen. What you're really asking, or the most important question to ask, is when will I get better? That varies from person to person. I've had, uh, uh, you know, the muscle guy who turned green and got big? I'm not going to mention his name. He came in, he had bone-on-bone -bone arthritis in the right knee. I gave him one shot, he got up, and his pain was gone from that moment for nine months until he fell down again and hurt himself. So it happens in all different ways. 
this gentleman, uh, Mr. Universe, Mr. USA, Mr. America, right down here where I'm pointing, the greater trochanter, which is right here. It's not the hip. People call it the hip. He was squatting 750 pounds. He used to touch his butt down to the ground. He ripped off the bursa on the greater trochanter and the iliotibial band all the way down to his knee. When he came in three months later after his injury, he had a ball of callus about this big. I thought it was bone. And he said, can you get rid of that? He says, I don't want that lump on my side. I said, I don't think so. I put a needle on it. It felt very scratchy like bone. I injected prolotherapy. had three, four treatments. That thing disappeared. The inflammation, the white blood cells came and chewed it up, and he was normal again. He was back to doing his sport. He was crippled before that. So we have miracles like that. Not everyone has that type of reaction. Watch out for this. Pharmacy. I don't like it. You guys should be careful what you take in medications. This says each capsule contains your medication plus a treatment for each of its side effects. <laughs> so what does that tell us? You know, anyone who looks in a PDR at the side effects for any medicine will never take medicine. <laughs> now, I used to do back surgeries. I used to do sports injury surgeries in my training. And after seeing a back surgery, after participating in that, I only got to hold the clamps. Um, I was disgusted. There was blood and guts flying all over the room. My glasses were, were filled with blood. Uh, you know, we're hammering, we're doing all kinds of things. Um, I can't understand how people get these things done, why surgeons do them. Thank you. <laughs>